There are three ways to play video inside your Adobe Connect Room. The method you use will depend on the type of video you wish to play. First, Flash, also called FLV or MP4 videos, can be streamed in your room through the Share Document feature in a Share Pod. Connect uses Flash as its platform, and because of this, you can stream Flash based video files or FLV using the Share Pod inside your Adobe Connect Room. If you have an FLV or MP4 file, or you're able to use a video converter tool to convert your video to FLV or MP4, you can load this into your room. First, from the Share Pod options in the drop down menu of your Share Pod, select Share Document. From here, select Browse My Computer and select the FLV or MP4 file from your computer. Once the video is loaded, you can start and stop the video as well as adjust the volume. You can also use the draw and pointer buttons to mark the video up. You will want to make sure to remove any drawings you make as they will not automatically disappear when you press play. To do this, you can either select the undo arrow or you can use the selector tool to select the item you wish to remove and then the erase tool to remove it. You will also notice that there is a progress bar at the bottom which will speed up playback on the attendees' computers. If you know that you have attendees with lower bandwidth, it's a good idea to start and then pause the video, allowing it to finish buffering before you press play. This will prevent playback problems for attendees. The second option is to play YouTube videos using the Connect Tube player in your room. In addition to the pods that are already loaded into your Adobe Connect Room, Adobe offers custom pod extensions. These are third-party apps that are designed to work in your room when loaded through the Share Document option in your Share Pod. The CII has preloaded some of the more popular extensions, including the Connect Tube player, into a shared content folder for easy access. Please follow these steps to load them into your room. First, from the Share Pod options in the drop down menu of your Share Pod, select Share Document. From here, select Shared Content from the list on the left. Then double click or click on the folder titled Miscellaneous and press OK. Inside the Miscellaneous folder, you will find the Connect Tube player. Select the item and click OK in the bottom right. Once the Connect Tube player is loaded, you can either search a topic to find the list of videos you may be interested in, or you can type the URL of a video you know you want to play into the search box in the lower left corner and select Go. You will then see a list of videos in the upper right corner, or just see one if you search for a specific URL. Click on the video title you wish to play. As a hint, if you don't see the list, try making the pod larger. Once you've selected the video you wish to play, you can click the play button at the center of the screen. This should play the video for all your attendees. If it does not, try clicking the sync button in the lower right corner of the share pod until your attendees can view the video. Because the Connect2 player is loaded in the share pod, you can also use the draw button and pointer to highlight certain parts of the video. As a warning, because ConnectTube comes from a third-party vendor, it does not always work flawlessly with your Adobe Connect Room. If you run into trouble, try the sync button. And if that doesn't work, try clicking Stop Sharing and then reloading the ConnectTube player. If that still doesn't work, you can ask your students to watch the video on their computers by pasting the URL into the chat box, or an easier solution is to share your desktop, remove your headset if you're using one, and turn your computer speakers all the way up. Next, bring the YouTube video up on your desktop in full screen and click play. It will play for everyone and they should all be able to pick up the sound from your speakers. You won't be able to monitor the chat box while the video is playing, but you can go back after the video is done and review any questions. For a full list of pod extensions, please visit the web address that you see here. The final option to play video in your room is to play other web-based videos that are not YouTube 
and or FLV or MP4 files using the share desktop feature in the SharePod. In the event that you want to play a non-YouTube video that you do not have an FLV or MP4 file for, you can use the Share Desktop feature to broadcast the video during your session. Simply follow these steps. First, pull the video you wish to play up on your desktop. Open your Adobe Connect meeting room and make sure you have turned on your meeting audio. Click on the drop down to the right of the speaker icon and select Adjust Speaker Volume. Turn it all the way up and click OK. Click on the drop down to the right of the microphone icon and select Adjust Microphone Volume. Turn it all the way up and click OK. Finally, invoke desktop sharing by clicking Share My Screen, then Desktop, then Share. You'll then land on the desktop. From here, click Play on your video. Note that your Adobe Connect Classroom will be minimized at the bottom of your screen. To reaccess the room once the video is done, you will need to locate the Adobe Connect icon at the bottom of your screen. It's important to note that you should not open a new Adobe Connect room after watching the video. This will cause a malfunction of your room and create an infinity screen, along with audio feedback. If this happens, close the window and locate the Adobe Connect icon at the bottom of your screen. It's a good idea to practice this before your students enter the room. For a list of our trainings, go to bramman.edu slash CII and click on Train With Us.